just regularly scored goal after goal after goal throughout his career. A defensive laps here from Mexico. This is Quintero, and the ball is on. Blas Perez, could he score another one? He can! Right on cue, Blas Perez gives Panama the lead. It's another one. Quintero, that's brilliant play. Trying to cut it back. And a shout for a penalty. It's gone into the back of the net, but the referee has... There you see it again. Just gets the benefit of the doubt, the defence. with a chance of making it to the World Cup finals. It'll be fifth in the so-called CONCACAF hexagonal. Perez trying to make the connection with Torres. And this Johnny come lately sports. Ah! This Quintero of Panama, lovely stuff. Duping Yuel Colomé, Quintero cuts it back. No end product. So there was going to be a little flashpoint after that red card. Things eventually settling down. Quintero running hard at the Cuban defence again. And this time Lopez as there was a difficult one to reach. There's Quintero. Rodriguez to his outside and making the dash forward. Roberto Martinez is a big fan of the Honduran players. How professional they are, how hard they work, how talented they are. Here's the talented Quintero going one way, then the other. Pulled it back beautifully. Gabi Torres. For the first. Here he is. And he doesn't stay on his feet all that often, it has to be said, so get used to that side. The guy's got 35 of them, there's plenty in the 20s and 30s. It's a solid challenge, I think it's going to be the first card of the night for Jackie Badis. Indeed it is. Gomez. Quintero. Good work. Less accurate with the cross. Nine international goals for him in the 86 previous caps. Is Quintero again definitely becoming more involved with this half as war on? And there's another trick that's worked out, and another cross that isn't good enough. Crossing towards. Very neatly done by the goal scorer, Gabriel Torres, didn't he do that well? He's found Quintero out wide. Quintero's ball is a good one into Sanchez, but the flag's up. Oh, he's given the free kick. Well, Chepo is getting a lot of grief from the media and the fans in Mexico at the moment. Two and a half years in charge, it started so well. With a victory in this tournament, in fact. Quintero goes dancing forward again. Four green shirts around him. Jimenez under pressure. Real pressure. Chance for a second here. Wonderful chance. And Orozco's done well. Oh, what a miss from... Might not have gotten near the ball, but Gabriel Torres knew he was coming. And you'd have to say perhaps that was just enough. Just enough to make him take his eye off the ball as he thought about the incoming challenge. Ball over the top for Waterman. And there's no flag here against Waterman, who's hit the post. And the goal scorer from the penalty spot, Gabriel Torres. The ball just a moment ago there. Could easily have got himself a second as well when it was 1-0. Ball it towards Gomez. 
Valenzuela and Jimenez got up to get enough of it. Here's Quintero who won that penalty with a really dangerous ball in. And he's put in another beauty for Torres to poke home. And he didn't miss that one. Valenzuela. With the captain Felipe Baloy trying the long ball to Blas Perez, Luis Terrada, Luis Carlos Terrada to Quintero. The chance for Quintero, the ball back, the center for Luis Enriquez. And the great save ready for Kaylor Navas. Less than 30 as the coach of Panama. Julio de Livaldes, former player of Malaga and Oviedo of Spain. Christian Bolaños. Alberto Quintero. Quintero escaping down the left. And let's see, we have a throw in for Costa Rica. Bolaños. Gamboa. Gamboa trying to find once again. Bolaños, nice play for Costa Rica. And the challenge ready for Alberto Quintero. Throw in for. Around 40,000. That's about as many tickets that were pre sold for this game. I'm sure there's more in here than that. This is Quintero back moving freely. And the cross was too close to Tim Howard. Though. Cooper. Here's Quintero. Rodriguez has gone on. And the Angola is tidying up, but his feet not the way he would have liked again. Just wasn't able to bring it in. And can Panama once more. Evans has got some defending to do here, and he's not done it well. It's Tejada. The before half time. They have shown enough in the opening 39 minutes of the game to suggest that they can score Tejada does well to move the ball on Cooper goes on really good defensive work from Cameron did so against Belgium in that friendly defeat a couple of weeks ago here's Tejada Panama looking for an equaliser before the break and it wasn't a bad effort, but Tim Howard thought the potential importance of goal difference. There are a number of clubs bunched at the top of the group. And it's Armando Cooper. Now Quintero. And that will become more of an issue the longer the game goes on. Howard scrambling the ball out of harm's way. Here's Quintero. Looking to cause more trouble for Howard and it was in towards the near post. Draws 1-1 with Panama. Maraona. Sanchez. And clearly. Clearly with the ball, his jersey was pulled. And McCleary does the foul on Quintero, and he gets. Shot outside and a great finish there by Panama as the build up, you saw it coming. You saw that the spaces were opening up. Well, they're, they're going to need him. Yeah, we, they're going to need him uh, in order to progress in the Copa Libertadores. And when you consider, I mean, Corinthians, the reigning champions. Rojas again, putting it through into the middle. 3-0 for Panama. Say goodnight, Gracie, as it was a... La muestra, la aguanta Armando Cooper Movedizo el... Yo le dije ¿no? que este muchacho Cooper es socio justamente con Felipe Baloy.
tienen unas clínicas de fútbol en Panamá. Para poner el nombre solamente o yo no nos dan alguna clase. Qué bien el tuyo y mía de Quintero desbordó, gran jugada atrás y es gol, atrás y es gol, atrás y es gol, es gol, es gol, es gol, es gol. Es gol, Blas Pérez, gol. Puede poner la pelota cuando llegaba Luis Carlos Ruiz, la quinta John Gayler Mosquera. Cediéndose el año Javier el Chorón Terrestrepo. Evacúa el balón para el pecho de el panameño el Negrifillo Quintero. A la mitad de la cancha ya sobre el círculo central. Restrepo. Buen pase abierto a la parte derecha del Junior. Ahí estuvo el cabezazo. El técnico Hernandario Gómez, José Hugo. Diego calentaba hace un instante todo el banco, pero ya los ha mandado a sentar. Las indicaciones las está dando el Panzer Carvajal. Y es que tengan la pelota y que sean rápidos en la salida. Y que en cada pelota quieta llama a Arrancan y a Leighton Jiménez que. Que suban, que son los que están llevando peligro al, al área juniorista. Arboleda que venía atacando, tiene que rechazar. Cancán, toca Choronta. Devuelve sobre el brasilero. Dos extranjeros en el Medellín. Un parameño que es Quintero este. Negritillo, metió la pelota para Dani Santoya. Puede ser el descuento, viene Santana. ¡Gol! ¡Gol! ¡Del Deportivo Independiente, el poderoso Medellín! ¡Dani Santoya!